This baseball report is brought to you by Houndstooth in the Crossroads. I personally just got a jacket from down there. I'll wear it next week as it's getting fit to give me great, amazing stuff at reasonable prices. I'm telling you right now, you want a jacket or some high-end casual shoes, anything like that, you're set. You need a suit, those are the guys to go see. We'll feature some of that stuff coming up a little bit later, but as we talk a little baseball today with the Kansas City Royals, the question I was asking myself yesterday is who do the Royals want to win the fifth starter job and who do they want to win the job at second base? Those are fair questions. I think everyone has their pick, whether you're like, ah, I hope it's Whit Merrifield or Christian Colon or Raul Mondesi or Chesser Cuthbert because you decided you want his bat in the lineup too. There are some options for the Royals there, but who would they want to win those jobs is a question I'm trying to ask myself because then you can start handicapping that race a certain way. I don't think they want Raul Mondesi to win it. He's young enough, 21 years old, that they can wait another year with the Alcides Escobar contract coming up next year to let him develop at the AAA level to find that bat, especially because this is a team that plans on getting to the World Series. They didn't spend the money on Jason Hamill and Travis Wood and Brandon Moss and, and some of the free agents, Alex Gordon and Danny Duffy, a couple years in a row too. So they didn't spend all that money to not take a shot at it this year. Raul Mondesi doesn't give you the best chance to win at second base this year. With the other three guys, I'm firmly convinced that all they really want Chester Cuthbert to do is convince them that he's good enough at second base to take 10 games over there. Take 40 from Mike Moustakis at third base since he'll need time off, recovering from the knee during this season, and it's he says it's fine, but they'll give him some extra days off there too. He'll take 30 games or so from DH against lefties from Brandon Moss or more, and then another 10 or 15 games gets him to 100. It's about what he played last year. It puts him firmly in the context of some other guys who are getting regular starter time. That way, if Mike Moustakis is gone next year, they have the ability to have a guy at third, which means I don't think they want Cuthbert to win the job at second either. They want Whit Merrifield or Christian Cologne. And if I were the Royals, I think I'd want Cologne to win it. One, he was a top-end draft pick. They spent, you know, some of the guys that went in that draft behind, including Francisco Lindor and other really talented players, they'd like to be able to get some good big league innings out of Christian Cologne. He's been a nice utility guy for them, but he hasn't been the star they thought he could be. You know, the Derek Jeter-esque leadership qualities they said he had. He has a chance, and this offseason has taken a good opportunity to become a leader on this team. I would think that's the guy I think the Royals should want to win the job. As far as the fifth starter spot goes, it depends on how they want the layout to go. To have Travis Wood, a lefty killer, available in the bullpen means they don't have to rush Brian Flynn back from his back injury, and we're not sure when he'll be back. It means you have another guy who can be stretched out into those later innings, and Carnes gives you that too. But I think that is, Nate Carnes should be the guy you want to win it, mostly because he has the highest upside. You know, you talk to a couple of scouts or some guys that have been around the bigs for a while, and the thing they say about Nate Carnes is that he has the possibility to be a guy that could be upwards of a third starter. That's high upside for a guy that's battling for a fifth spot. Knowing those first four spots are locked up, and we don't know much about Vargas, right? So Wood or Young or some of these other guys are going to have to take some time anyway. I think if Young wins it, having to go with Carnes and Wood and not being able to trust them enough to be a reliable fifth starter, that's not a good sign for guys that are going to have to come in later. For Chris Young to be a spot starter, you know what he is. That's not like taking the confidence away from Carnes or Wood. And Carnes is a guy that you're going to have around for multiple years. If he could, after Vargas leaves next year, be the guy that's for sure in the fourth spot because Kennedy, Duffy, and, you know, so those guys are set, right? You're like, okay, great. And Hamill for next year. You're like, okay, we've got one, two, and three for next season. How do we get to the fourth guy? If it's definitely Carnes, then you can start tinkering with the young guys. It could be Stamont or Strom or some other free agent signing, which I don't think they'll go with next year. Those are the guys I think I think they should want Carnes to win. I think they should want Cologne to win. But I'd be interested to know what you think, because I think we all have different opinions. And all I'm trying, because I think I'd like Whit Merrifield to win the job. Versatile. I think he's, his upside, defensively, they're pretty similar. But you can put him at second base every day. I think his bat has proven to me that at least it could be big at this level. And Cologne, I've never seen enough to really know. And the fifth starter spot, I'm in the same boat I think the Royals should be with Carnes. But I'd be interested to know what you think, at least for the Royals, who they want to win those jobs at those two positions. I'm Cody Tapp. This report is brought to you by Houndstooth in the Crossroads. Make sure to get on down there. Family-owned, third-generation tailor, certainly. Amazing products at a great price. I'm Cody Tapp. This is Sports Radio 810 WHB.